brought to you by Lightspeed Aviation and by the Ultra Electronics Oracle Engine Management System. The Ultra Electronics Flight Line System's Oracle Engine Management System is the premier engine monitoring system certified as primary for over 350 models of aircraft. Come see us at Booth 603 where you can learn about the right Oracle for your aircraft and the exciting twin-engine CRM2120, which will be available in early 2010. Hello, everyone. This is Paul Bertarelli reporting from AOPA Summit 2009 at Tampa, Florida. But I'll admit I just lied. Uh, we're not at Summit, uh, but we are in Florida. We're recording this uh, ahead of the Summit. Uh, I'm with Scott Smith of uh, Aspen Avionics. Uh, we are going to take a look at the uh, new addition, the MFD addition to the uh, Aspen Evolution System, the uh, EFD 500 and EFD 1000 MFD. Take them up and ring them out. What do you say, Scott? That sounds real good, Paul. Let's go do it. Okay. Thanks. Uh, we're established off the coast of southwest Florida at 6,500 feet. Uh, nice, clear, calm day. Uh, Scott, let's start to take a look at some of the details of this system. Okay, Scott, why don't you go ahead and run us through the basics here. Yeah, Paul, uh, what we've got here starting from left to right is the uh, EFD uh, 500 MFD on the left-hand side. We've got the uh, EFD 1000 Pro Plus, which is your PFD, and we've got the EFD 1000 MFD, which has the uh, backup AHARs built into it. So our basic differences uh, between the 500 and the 1000, what separates those two, uh, is the backups, uh, AHARS, that are built in are a full backup PFD into the 1000. Uh, with a single button push, you get uh, a complete PFD backup, and as you can see, it's the exact same screen. So if you did have a failure on the primary, you get the one button push to, the, uh, to get the, the backup there. The, uh, the five pages, it depends on the aircraft, but it uh, depends on your different uh, inputs and outputs, what you have uh, available. Uh, you can, we have a map, the terrain, traffic, and we'll accept the uh, majority of all uh, traffic sources available on the market. Uh, strikes or storm scope, and that's the WX500 and the uh, weather, and our uh, the weather receiver we use is an Aspen, it's called the EWR-50. So our panning function on the MFD, uh, you have the ability to pan around on the map simply by pushing in on the knob that activates panning, and now we can, on the left-hand knob, and now you can uh, pan around up and down on the, on the right-hand knob and left and right on the left-hand knob. Anything that we see on the map, if you want more information about it, again, here, go back to the info key, and now you can cycle through the different waypoints that are on the map, and you want more information on it, simply push in, and it's going to tell you, well, that, and in this case, that's uh, Punta Gorda, Florida, and uh, the identifier there, and our distance from, uh, distance from it, if I want to see the, it notice the soft keys here, and if I want to see the comm frequencies, there's our comm frequencies for that airport, uh, runways, to give us the runway information, and also the weather. Uh, if you look right here, uh, on the lower left-hand side of the screen, you see page one of three. So we've got uh, three different layouts that we can do. Uh, this is the full screen. Uh, you twist the knob, you get a split screen, twist it again, and you get the thumbnail layout. And each, each page that you're in, you can change your different... Uh, uh, what, what your different IOs are or different uh, available screens and that like you can go terrain, traffic, storm scope, and weather. And you can si uh, select by pushing on the knob here, you can select whatever you're controlling and it brings up this magenta box around whatever field that we're controlling and allows you to select the uh, the layout. Our different weather products include the, we have a convective page here which, which shows you uh, what's going to hurt you and uh, includes next rad and lightning and your uh, segments. And as we, uh, we can, we can uh, pan in 
uh, here, zoom in and pan around and, and uh, focus on a on this weather system that's going through, uh, looks like Louisiana right now, and you can see the, the lightning, lighting in the area, the reds, the yellow, the green, and you notice this uh, box here with the R for the uh, convective segment. If I wanted to read that convective segment, I could hit the info key, it pops up, and I can read that get the details on that convective segment. Some other weather, weather products, as, if you want to cycle through them, we hit the select weather, and now you notice we have one of eight. So now we go through, here's the METARs, and again, if we want to zoom in and zoom out, we can do that. We can uh, pan by pushing in uh, on the pan, on the left-hand knob there. And any METAR, we see, uh, any flag we see, we can get the detailed METAR on it. Uh, but just from the color code, uh, the blue is blue sky. So that's BFR. Green is uh, marginal BFR. Yellow is IFR. And red is low IFR. Less than a mile visibility, less than 500 feet. And if I want to select one of those, uh, get more information, I can hit info, and I can cycle through and look at any one I want, push in on the, on the knob, and it's going to come up and give that to me in uh, a textual form. Okay, Scott, that's a pretty good demonstration of the capabilities. Uh, tell us a little bit about the status of approvals on these, the AMLs, and the prices. Yeah, thanks. Uh, our approval right now, we are shipping the MFDs. We, uh, our AML covers the same aircraft list as our PFD does. So, uh, and that is a majority of aircraft that are uh, 6,000 pounds and less. So class one and two aircraft. Uh, we will have the heavier uh, class, uh, class three aircraft by uh, first part of next year. And uh, as far as pricing goes, the EFD, 500 MFD, list price is $4,995, and the EFD 1000 MFD is $7,995. Okay, well, thank you. Price. Thank All you right. for the demo. Thank you, Paul. Paul Bertarelli reporting from AOP, a, AOPA Summit. Uh, we've been demonstrating the Aspen Evolution System. Thanks for watching. While you're at the AOPA Summit, be sure to stop by booth 831 and find out about Lightspeed Aviation's Trade Up program. And share your story with all of the other pilots who are telling us why Zulu has changed their mind.